hello and welcome back friends to this new video and in this video i'm going to show you how you can download and install and set up microsoft visual studio code so in this uh, piece of software you can uh, do all the codings like uh, in programming languages of c c plus plus java python javascript and uh, all those things you can do here so I'm going to show you uh, some of these and how to set up that environment, how you can create those applications, uh, files and save it and how you can run the code in this environment. So today I'm going to show you about C, C++, Python as well as HTML, JavaScript and CSS. So let's get started. So now first of all you need to go to a browser and start downloading some of the things that are required the next piece of software is for uh, writing C and C++ programs and you need this uh, GNU C++ compiler and this is a free uh, open source compiler uh, for those of you you want to uh, make or create C and C++ programs so in one of the videos I have already shown you how you can install and set up and use code blocks for C C++ programming and uh, at that backend MinGW is the compiler uh, so we have to go to this website the first one sourceforge.net and click on here it will open this uh, window here and you can see this is the pictures samples that are screenshots taken while installing so click on download and let it download the file so it's a very small size but it will download it is an online downloader we need to click on this file click run and here you can see it will ask for installing click install select the default location that is in C drive mainly it is MinJWS single folder and leave all the options as is click continue and click on reinstall probably this is because I have already installed this one once and I'm just showing you this one just click on install and it will start this whole process as you are seeing here next click on continue and here it will show the uh, catalog of all the tools that has to be downloaded so just select MinGW32 base and mark for installation since I have already installed this uh, so it is not giving me to uh, install it again. So click on mark for installation and select uh, this one MinGW32 mark for installation GCC this is for C++ and this is GCC objective this also is required. So click all these three options and uh, click on installation option here and apply changes. So it will go ahead and uh, download all the required files one by one extract it into your folder. So here we have the folder in C drive. As you can see all these folders you have and you just need to set this path in your paths variable. So just go to this MinGW folder in C drive and go to the bin just need to double click here and select this line of address and right click copy and then go to the properties of a computer right click on this empty space click properties go to advanced system settings select environment variables click on path click edit and just double click on an area and just control V to paste it or you can right click on here and paste this path 
Similarly, as you can see, I have added uh, the path to Java SDK and also Java. So this will be required to run Java. But I am going to show you about only C and C++ and Python and HTML etc. Next one, we have to download Visual Studio Code. So just search it in your web browser and uh, you can click on this first link. And in here, you uh, have to download any one of these. I recommend to download the system installer that way it will be installed in your uh, C drive and uh, program files. If you uh, download and install this user installer, it will be uh, installed in uh, some user um, space folder. Uh, I recommend to download this one. So click on this 64 bit or if you have a 64 bit windows or if you have a 32 bit windows, you download this one. So I will click on this one. and let it download and the next one we need for our python programming if you want to do python coding then you need to search for python download and it to install all the tools and uh, interpreter so click on this first link and you can see it is already detected your uh, operating system so you can click on here if it is not correct then you can select it from here Linux, Mac OS, uh, Windows, etc. So click on this download 3.9.1. This is the latest version. And once it has downloaded, I will show you the next step. So just click on first one, say Python. Uh, since I have already installed this, I am just going to show you how you can install. So just uh, click on uh, repair. So by default it will ask you to choose a express version or custom uh, version you just select the express one and click next and it will go on with the same things that are showing here So as you can see the installation has finished and you will get a similar message and you will get two options that I will give the screenshot to you. Uh, you have just to select those two options by checking those boxes. So next one of it is finally the Visual Studio Code setup. So accordingly just double click on it. So click on accept, click next see all these options you have to keep checked click next and click install okay so after the whole process of installing it will show you to launch visual studio code and click on finish So once it launches it will show you this welcome window and here you can select uh, some of the settings like you can change the color scheme i like this dark theme you can go to this color theme here option like the gear symbol you can click on this gear symbol and go to this color theme option and you can choose any one from here so i like to keep this default one that is a dark theme so after it has loaded you can see uh, we have this welcome screen and in here you will be able to install all the support for these languages so just click on javascript python java uh, so that in this visual studio code will install all the requirements for you next if you want some more i will recommend you to install these things that is one is code runner that will be helpful for running C, C++, Java and Python codes easily. Next one is HTML boilerplate. Next one is 
live server so that we can uh, launch the web page directly from our visual studio code you don't need to have to minimize this and go to that folder and open the html file so we can run it from here itself next one is prettier and this will make all the formatting of your code in you can see in the description it gives the ability to format these javascript css html files rest of all will be uh, installed by default or you can search it as you like it so next one is to set up our home folder now for setting up your folder where you want to save these codes i will suggest that you go to your one of your drives or your data drives and uh, in here you can make a folder like i have one here codes and you can separate these folders as you like it and then in order to show this in your uh, visual studio code window you just click on right click here you can go to file open work folder and click on codes and select folder and now you can see in your explorer window you have this folder named codes now you can create files from here itself you can refresh if there is any change as you can see i have these folders subfolders inside this folder code and now you can click on this one and click on this plus symbol to create a file next you need to make some settings changes in this visual studio code uh, you can go to this gear icon settings and go to settings now go now you can type here zoom so just check this box uh, to zoom in and out by pressing the control and scrolling on the mouse wheel the next setting we need to change is to use this code runner to run the code in terminal you can go to this extension scroll down go to this run code configuration and then again scroll down and click on run in terminal and also alternatively i will recommend you to check this save file before run so that it will al always run uh, your file and before that it will save your file too after all these changes press ctrl s to save these settings click close and now you can start coding like if you can type an html file just click here and click on this subfolder icon and click on plus to create a file you can click outside to remove that file then just click on that file to open this in the editor pane if you want to increase your font size you just press and hold down control in your keyboard and scroll up and you can see you can increase the font size here and as well as you can zoom out and zoom in and this is the previewer window where you can preview your uh, codes how it looks while in formatted and now to view this html in a web browser you just need to click on this go live as we have installed the live uh, server extension it will allow us to directly open the file in an html server so as you can see the browser window has already opened and uh, this is uh, my demo html file that is index html and this is how it is shown and you can see this is the default server that was created so it is very nice and if you change something here uh, like for example if i add a another heading here
so if i just uh, press ctrl s here to save it then it will dynamically change this page so in no need to press ctrl s and again close this window and open it and re click refresh it will automatically refresh the page so this is quite useful and handy and for running c c plus plus codes you just need to create the code here uh, in some folder let's say i have created this file this is my app.cpp this is a c plus plus file and once you have uh, done this all the codes have been written you just need to right click here on any sp empty space and press run code and since we have selected that option in the setting to run the code in a terminal window so it will open here in the terminal you can see by uh, automatically it is typing all the code all the syntax for us just we need to click on here and we can see enter your age 32 and this is the result of the code just press enter to end the code if you don't do that setting to run that code in your terminal then it will open up in the output window which you can use to view your code but uh, you cannot use it to in input anything like if you click on there and run the code in your output window it will show all the things like enter your age but you cannot enter the value uh, via the c in option so it is better to use a terminal uh, for input and output operations so this is the same for c also uh, for python you need to just uh, create a python file here like i have created here and just and right click on this space and press run code and it will also automatically run the code here you can see the extension is still loading up so it will take some time depending upon your server say i press 3 7 and you can see the result of this calculation is 91 like i have printed here so uh, friends i think i have uh, shown you all those things that i have mentioned uh, i showed you how to install python how to install gnu c++ and c compiler uh, i showed you how to install visual studio code and all the extensions that are required for installing those uh, and running those programming languages and develop codes and also i shown you how to create this code and run the code in visual studio and all the settings that i uh, required so hope you like this video and give it a thumbs up and subscribe my channel turn on the bell notification and so see you in the next video peace out